So I've heard quite a few, actually a surprising number of professional artists talking about using liquin as a final varnish on their paintings. And I'm going to tell you why I would recommend not doing that. So I use uh, an alkyd medium, not very often, but uh, in the last couple of years I've used this periodically, especially when I want to speed up the drying of my painting. Maybe I've got a deadline, I need to get something out quick. Or because I want to uh, have the final painting have a nice gloss to it, or I want to increase the flow a little bit in some of the stages of my painting. But I'll talk, I've talked about that in another video. So I do, use, I do recommend using an alkyd if you want to use an alkyd. There's nothing wrong with them. Actually, they strengthen the paint film. But you don't want to use it as a final varnish. When I first heard about alkyds, started research, researching them, I thought, well, that would be a great. I can see why some artists use that as a varnish because it actually strengthens the paint film. It's very durable, dries quick. Uh, what's, what's the downside here? <clears throat> the problem with using any kind of an alkyd as the final varnish is that you can't remove it. Or if you do remove it, you're going to be using solvents that are so strong that they're going to also remove your painting. <laughs> so that's why. That's the main reason. Now, yes, uh, some will say that they might darken over time. And you can see, if you look at them in the bottle, it's, a, it's pretty dark, right? When you actually add this to your painting, it's not going to darken your painting. Actually, alkyds tend to darken, it seems, less. They darken less than drying oils like linseed oil or walnut oil. None of them darken appreciably when we use them in our paintings. But these darken less than the drying oils do. So uh, the main reason that you don't want to use these is just because they become permanent. They, they fix themselves permanently to your painting, become a part of it. And if you get too much on there, as you can see this is darker, the more the thicker the application or layer of of some kind of an alkyd medium like the M gram or um, the liquid the darker it's going to get it's when you use it in paint there's no darkening because we're using small tiny amounts it, it speeds up the painting uh, it, it speeds up the paint drying process and it can add uh, glossiness or in the case of liquid uh, melgip uh, mel Melgip, Meglip, <laughs> the gambling product, um, uh, they might add a little bit more of a satin sheen than a gloss. Some artists really like that. So if you like that, go for it. Just don't use it as a final varnish. Uh, the, the whole purpose to a varnish is to be removable. It's, it's meant to protect the painting while it's on the wall or where in transition or, tr or transit or whatever. Uh, wherever it might be, in here in our studios, whatever. It's meant to protect the painting from things like atmospheric effects, dirt and, and moisture and things like that that might settle onto the painting and create a film over time. Uh, so, sometimes you'll see a painting like in the, the, the old times, the, the historical paintings, when they sat in taverns or something and there's all this cigar smoke and, and soot from the, uh, and smoke from the fireplace or whatever. That over time can build up a, a haze or a, a, it can really darken a painting. If it's varnished well and you remove that varnish, you'll get right back to the original glossy, brilliant colors that were there when the artist first painted that painting. But if we put something like a liquid over it, or I mean a, an alkyd over it, then they try to remove that and whoop, uh, they can't. They have to. They have to use solvents that are so strong that they'll also remove the painting, uh, the paint. So with something like a varnish, uh, Gamvar is what I use. I love it. I think it's the best varnish on the market. If you use Gamvar, you can remove it easily with mineral spirits. Uh, no, no. Uh, what is, what's that phrase? Uh, no harm, no foul. Uh, so it's easy to remove. You don't, you don't damage the painting at all. Unless, of course, you have used something like a mineral spirit wash uh, underneath and you use, let's say you use a mineral spirit wash for your first wash. I've, I've done that a lot in my 40-year uh, career. So uh, putting it down an initial wash with mineral spirits, 
but we end up using too much of the mineral spirits. It gets really soupy. What happens then is it dilutes or um, takes away so much of the oil binder from the pigment that we're left with just kind of a little dust to it. And then that, that, uh, that pigment that's there, the color in the oil paint, has nothing to hold it together, nothing to hold it onto our painting. It's just like we, we went and put uh, some kind of, we went outside and got some dirt and, and dusted it over our painting. We're not gonna expect that to stick, right? Well, if you take that same dirt and you put it into an oil binder and you mix it in the right proportions, then you, yes, it will stick. And that, that uh, dirt is gonna become part of, it's, it's just like a paint. That's, that's really all it is. It's pigments for the most part, uh, you know, like the, especially the earth colors, they're just dust. So we get this dust mixed in with the, these oils. The oil is what creates the strong film that holds those pigments onto our canvas. So if we get like a, a mineral spirit wash that is that takes away too much of that oil, then we're left with mostly that dust. And then when we go back in with that mineral spirits to remove our varnish, we might remove some of that um, some of the painting that we did as well because there's not enough oil there to protect it. The oils, once the oils dry, they're not going to be affected by mineral spirits. The varnish will. The varnish will uh, come off of there easily with mineral spirits. These will not. You cannot remove these with mineral spirits. You have to get a much stronger solvent to remove them. So let's say uh, uh, over time, uh, or let's say you, you added some of this on there, you put kind of a, a thick layer of this on there. And then within a short time, you're gonna notice that it gets darker. Your painting just gets darker. Well, those bright highlights and things that you have that we have on our paintings, they might get a, a significant yellowing to them if we do that. So uh, if we wanna maintain those those bright colors, the, uh, the original, like we, let's say we did flowers and we wanna really maintain those bright translucent uh, rich colors in there, then we don't want to put this on top of them. We can mix this into the paint and, in small degrees. You never want to go too much with this. Uh, for one thing, these will level out the paint stroke. So if you're, if we're doing um, strong, we want uh, really our, our thick, thick brush strokes and we want to see the, the, fi um, the bristles of the brush brushing through there we have this nice wonderful texture in our brush strokes well if we use too much of this then it's going to level that out we're going to lose all that texture the brush texture in those brush strokes and the paint's not going to sit up it's going to round out and and be softer so just a couple of drops in a bit of paint you know and in, in a good amount of paint is going to help it to dry faster uh, it'll help it to maintain a little bit more of that that freshly painted gloss that we like oh it looks like it just got painted kind of look to it uh and it won't it's not going to yellow it's not going to appreciably change over time uh but uh that's different than putting it on our paintings and using it as a varnish so there you go don't use alkyds as a final varnish it's not a good idea the whole reason for a varnish is to protect the painting and to be removable these are, these are not removable. Uh, they become a permanent part of the painting. And I think that's it. So uh, have fun. Enjoy trying out different mediums. If, if you like using mediums, I don't use a lot of medium. I, I generally paint just straight with straight paint from the tube. Uh, but a lot of people like mediums for different effects. Experiment. Uh, try them out. I'm going to try some of that um, Gamblin Mel... Glip, gli, um, you know, I, I totally forgot how to pronounce it. McGilp. That uh, doesn't sound right, but that might be what it is. Uh, I'm going to try out some of that sometime. I heard an artist recently extol its virtues. And so I'll give it a try and see what it's like. Uh, but overall, in 40 years, I just haven't used a lot of medium. Some, some of you might like to do that. Uh, so just make sure that you use it as a medium and not as a varnish and you'll have a great time. Your paintings will, will survive the, the test of time and you'll be much happier. All right, have fun and happy painting.